What's up you guys? Thank you for clicking on this video and hanging out with me. Today's gonna be a nail video and if you can tell that I'm missing three nails right here and I'll talk about what happened but if you watch the video where I did this set right here, this gorgeous blue set which I absolutely love, you will hear me say, actually I'll insert it right here, right into this video. And then I forgot my Young Nails primer but usually I'll apply that. I don't feel like getting it right now, I'm already nice and comfortable and all set up so I'm gonna skip that step but I would recommend a primer as it does help with any lifting if that's something that you struggle with. So I skipped this step and lo and behold three nails ended up popping off. Like they lifted a little, well this one, one of them cracked in half. I was doing housework and stuff so it cracked, snapped in half and then the rest of the nail just easily popped off and it's solely due to this. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure because usually this is, I don't miss this step and Builder Gel I have no issues with when it comes to lifting. Like usually it is rock solid secure on my nails but I decided to be lazy and skip this step and I'm missing three nails now because of it so I have to redo them. So I'm gonna do a thorough step-by-step -step how I do nail extensions at home in this video. That's, that's gonna be the goal you guys. So grab your drink of choice. I'm gonna turn on some Gilmore Girls. I've never watched Gilmore Girls in my entire life but after seeing so many TikTok references like audios and stuff I decided to watch it and I actually really like it. It's like a really light-hearted and I love fall. I'm such a fall winter person. Like I love Christmas, literally my favorite holiday ever. I'm not a summer person by any means. So it's like the perfect comfort show. So yeah, let's let's do our nails and let's hang out. I'll probably do a voiceover. I feel like that will work best for this video. So let's get started. The first step is prep. Push back the cuticles, trim them, whatever the process it is that you do. And then grab a nail file and very gently kind of buff the surface. Just a little bit, nothing crazy. And make sure you're also getting it all the way to the edges, sidewall to sidewall. Make sure you're covering the entirety of the nail. If the nail plate is too smooth, it can prevent the nail products from adhering properly. And then I have a spray bottle with some isopropyl alcohol in it. And I'm wiping it down with a lint-free cloth. This gets rid of all the dust from the nail filing and then also acts as a dehydrator to get rid of excess oils. If you're going to be doing a nail extension, you're going to need nail forms. I buy a pack of like 100 or something on Amazon. They're really inexpensive. Go ahead and apply it so that your natural nail is sitting on top of the nail form and then make sure it is a nice and snug fit. And of course this time around we can't forget the Young Nails Protein Bond. For me this just really helps with any lifting. It is an air dry formula so you don't have to cure it. Apply it directly to the natural nail, just don't get it on the skin. Next I apply the rubber base. This acts like a base coat, but when it cures, it is much more rigid and structured than a regular base coat. I love this product, it's so amazing. I start by applying a very thin layer. Again, don't flood the cuticles or get it on the skin. And then I grab some more and kind of create an extension using this as well. One tip is to make sure you're applying the base coat right here in this area where the natural nail meets the extension. If you have a gap here, it can break. But once you have a nice thin layer, go ahead and cure that under a nail lamp for 60 seconds. Once that's cured, you can start building up the nail. So I grab this structure gel from InHype. It's essentially a builder in a bottle. I start off by adding a very thin layer from cuticle to tip. Again, make sure you're not getting it on the skin or flooding the cuticles. And then grab some more of that builder gel and I start building up the nail in U rainbow shaped motions back and forth to kind of basically build up the nail essentially. You can also grab some more and add a bead down the center to really help build up the apex. It is a self-leveling formula so it should level. You can also flip it upside down to help it level a little bit. And you're happy with it, go ahead and cure that fully for 60 seconds. Once it's fully cured, you can go ahead and remove the nail form, spritz it with some isopropyl alcohol and wipe it down with a lint-free wipe to get rid of that sticky layer and then you can start working on shaping it and then buffing the nail surface because you want to get rid of that smooth layer. Spritz it once again to get rid of the dust, wipe it down and you are now ready for gel polish. I absolutely love the D&D gel polishes. They are so opaque. This is just one layer and I feel like that's all that I needed. And then once you go ahead and fully cure that, move on to the gel top coat and fully cure that as well. Finish off with a cuticle oil. I actually got this at Dollar Tree and I really like it. It's handy to have in your purse, kind of on the go. And that is kind of the process of how I do builder gel nail extensions on myself, start to finish. Nails are done. We got a full set finally. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you love doing your nails at home, as always, make sure you're doing it safely and not getting any gel on your skin or your cuticles or anything like that. And I'll link anything that I used down below if you guys want to shop it. Thanks for hanging out and hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos.